Proper conversation?
How do I say? We were all super surprised, obviously, at first when we heard about Coachella, and we were like, oh, we get to go watch, like, that's so fun. And they're like, no, no, you're going to perform. And then we were like, oh. Oh, I see. What? And, you know, it's just starting from there, it was already like, such a, like, you know, big thing for us. And actually going up on stage and seeing that our minds, you know, they, you know, you guys exist, and, like, you guys are here for us. But you know, we really want to say thank you for existing. Yeah. Yeah. The didn't stop there. You kept going yeah. to the next level. Did he? Did he? <laughs> you guys are the first Korean artists standing on this very stage right here in LA. Wow. Um, being the first, everything is always new. It's very special because we can spend time with just our vibe. I mean, this is incredibly special. In fact, due to COVID-19, there was not many chances to have moments just like this in-person meetings. So really, uh, this to me is special, but to you guys, this is special as well, right? We gotta take some time to get closer to one another. Me, me, first time to you. Right? Yeah. You guys have sent us questions, and we selected a few, and I think it's time that we check them out. Okay. Hi. Okay, maybe let's see. First question What movie have you all seen recently? Movie. Movie. In my case, I was Dressy World Dominion. <laughs> Jessica, yeah, we're just gonna do Jurassic World. Holy shit. Jurassic World. 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 Of 
Yeah. So definitely winter. Is winter. 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 Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. I, yeah, I love Deadpool and Batman. 
Deadpool, Deadpool, I love Deadpool. <laughs> なんかマーベルらしい最近,最近出たマーベルちょっと前に出たマーベル、so, in SNCU, there's a scene where a butterfly guides an ass who is the best and who is the worst with directions oh <laughs> Ah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm she usually struggles when she goes on a path for the first time, but she never forgets the path she's been on. Huh. I do want to keep going on the SMCU conversation because yeah. the second episode of SMCU was released a few days ago and Black Mamba is drawing a ton of attention once again. And I think we need more of an explanation about Black Mamba. I know it's not just a song title, but it is the name of a special being. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you watch the music video Black Mamba at the first episode of SMCU, you can actually see the strong visuals of Black Mamba and it's actually interfering the sync of Espa and our Avatar I members and it's a dangerous being that threatens the world. In <laughs> <laughs> the second episode, we experienced hallucination because of Black Mamba. Uh, in the next episode, you'll find out why. <laughs> also, including Espa's, in your debut song, there are a bunch of keywords that are constantly mentioned, very consistently, in several songs. So, I hear Kwang Ya. Did we say that? Kwang Ya. Where is Kwang Ya and is Kwang Ya at the SM office building? <laughs> in our worldview, Kwang Ya is a mysterious place. No shape and no limit, but there's a massive energy. We also fight Black Mama there. Thank you. By the way, you can check out their various stories through Espa's videos and music, it's all there. But how can we understand your worldview all together right now? You're over. a lot of songs for you guys today. First is Next Level that we from Savage from our first video. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, so Espa, you guys want to go get ready to perform? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let him hear it. 